Go ahead. Hi, my name is Isaac Sessi, and I'm Peter O'Hara. Yeah, we are co-founders of Sessi Technologies, where we manufacture affordable technologies for farmers and agribusinesses to help them reduce the, uh, losses and then increase yield. So we have here one of our products on the market. It's called Grain Mate. So Grain Mate is a low-cost and very accurate grain moisture meter to help farmers monitor the exact amount of moisture in their grains to help reduce post-harvest losses. So the problem we're trying to solve is this, that uh, moisture level is very important to determine how long the grains will, loss, will last during storage. Most of uh, the farmers in Africa, they like to store their grains uh, so that during the dry season, sorry, what do you the off season, they can sell at uh, much higher prices. But then for every grain, uh, there is a particular moisture level at which you should, you should store it. When the moisture content is too high, uh, it's going to develop mold, which destroy the grains and then just render their entire harvest uh, useless. So with grain mates, they can test for the moisture and know whether the grain is dry enough. It is very cheap compared to what is on the market. It's designed with smallholder farmers in sub-Saharan Africa in mind. And so we make it possible for them to use the means that they have to be able to pay for it. So for instance, they can exchange grains, uh, sorry, a bag of maize uh, or whatever cereal they're growing for one of these, or they can come together to purchase uh, about four or five farmers can come together to purchase a unit bringing the price down for each individual farmer uh, currently we have manufactured about 300 of these we produce this locally from a facility in Kumasi, Ghana and uh, we are setting up a production facility to even scale up production so manufacturing locally is, is important to us because we believe that you know um, hardware revolution can also come from Africa. Uh, we do not have so many people in, in my country, Ghana, who are making hardware. Uh, so it's, 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 it's important to us that we, we are kind of like pioneers in that space. So um, we, we source components also from local uh, suppliers. We also source certain services like uh, our bags, uh, our handles, and uh, a lot of other services for um, for uh, from locally. And, and uh, in the last one year, we have helped uh, generate like an uh, extra income of about $9,500 for these local businesses that we have sourced from. Uh, so yeah, essentially that is it. Our mission is to help reduce poverty and hunger in Africa uh, by, by developing affordable technologies uh, for farmers and uh, agribusinesses in Africa. Thank you. Awesome. Cool. Can you just demonstrate the prototype you're holding? Just All kind right. of show All how right. it works? All right, sure. So, this, so the device is made up of two parts. So there is the probe and then there is the handheld part. Okay. So this probe is made up of aluminium, but it's very stiff because uh, prop, like bag, sorry, grains are usually stored in bags and so you need to be able to push or insert it into the bag. So this is made up of uh, aluminium, which is very durable, which is very strong. At the tip, it has a sensor which measures the, the relative humidity and then the temperature and then we use mathematical models to estimate the moisture content. So this is a simple telephone uh, cable. Now the reason why we're using a telephone cable, a uh, telephone jack is because it's, it's easy to find. Uh, so because we're producing locally, we're looking for alternatives which are available on the market. So we're using this. So you just plug the, 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 the probe in there um, into the handheld part and then it displays four pieces of information. So on the top left, you can see the temperature. On the top right, you can see the relative humidity. On the bottom left, you can see the moisture content. And then on the bottom right, you can see the commodity for which you are testing for. Okay, so it's very simple to use. It has three buttons. Mm -hmm. There is an on button, which is red. There's an off button, which is black. Simple. You can easily explain this to a five-year-old or a 90-year-old <laughs> grandmother. Now, 
um, if you want to select because each grain is different we have different settings and different uh, calibrations for each grain so you can press the yellow button to cycle through the list of available grains so you can see corn yellow corn soybean rice so sorghum wheat um, soft wheat hard wheat chickpea and uh, even though we currently support seven grains as of now it has the capacity to support up to 32 and we have even had a lot of requests from farmers to you know add other crops like cocoa like uh, coffee like granite and we are so we're currently doing the research and development for that so now when you take this you put it in the grain and then you wait for about five minutes for the reading to stabilize and then you can take the reading from there okay now so assuming you're measuring say corn of about 15 percent um, we have a chart that comes with the, the device which tells you like the recommended moisture level for each grain So for instance corn should be below 13% So if you are reading 15% it means that the moisture content is too high Which means you have to dry it a bit more and then when you dry it a bit more later you test and it's, 50, it's like say 13 or 12 Then you can bag and then you can store Awesome, thank you so much guys. You're welcome